Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. If you got a steam heating system and you're looking to install a Wi-Fi thermostat like the Google Nest or the Honeywell 9000, check out this video. We're going to this customer's home in Rockaway Park, which is on the Rockaway Peninsula in the great state of New York. We, he's got a Will McLean gas-fired steam boiler with a just antiquated White Rogers thermostat. He wants to make it Wi-Fi controllable. Let's go make this happen. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we are going to install a smart thermostat, Wi-Fi thermostat, a Nest thermostat on this Will McLean. EG, PEG? Yep. 5065 200,000 BTU gas fired steam boiler. Customer has a three family home here. Wants to be able to control the heat remotely by Wi Fi. And uh, right now we just have a two conductor thermostat wire leaving the boiler. And that goes across all the way to a standard battery operated heat only thermostat. Now, on this boiler, inside the boiler vestibule where all the wiring is, this is a transformer. We have this connection here labeled thermostat. Factory label, two black wires. You'll see this on a lot of different types of boilers. Uh, residential, of course, where you have the two leads and makes it very easy for the installing contract to hook up thermostat, which is TT. Uh, this would be R, H, and this would be W as far as terminals, which are they going to go to. Now, obviously I need more than two wires because I need a common to install a Wi-Fi thermostat. So we got a four conductor thermostat wire already ran. We have a red wire, a blue, a green, and a white. Is it long enough? Yeah, we'll make it work. Perfect. So I'm going to show you step by step how to wire in a Nest thermostat to your steam boiler. Let's go. All right, so the base plate for the Nest is just temporarily installed on the wall. White, the white wire on W1, blue wire, which is common, on C, and the red on RH. And this goes all the way to the base. Plate. All right, I took that four conductor wire and the black insulation, I zip tied it to the existing piece of conduit here for our primary wiring going into the boiler vestibule area. Um, I have my red, my white, and my blue wire. My blue wire is common. And if you notice, here's our common terminal on our transformer right there. So if you notice the green, which is neutral-ish, ground, is uh, going to that screw there. So I took my blue wire, which is common on the thermostat, and put that to our ground there. Same common right there. Thermostat connection, we're just gonna take the red and the white wires off the two black wires and put them onto here and fire up. By the way, keep thermostat switch off while doing this work to prevent any damage to the transfer. All right, I cut off the black leads off of the existing thermostat wire, the red and the white conductors. We're gonna put this off to the side for right now. It's not needed. We'll, we'll clean that up and save that for later. Um, I'm using the Wago lever connectors. These are the number 221s. Glorified wire nuts, some may some call it, but I happen to love it and they're reusable because traditional wire nuts like this, not reusable, technically. So there's that on there. We'll fire up and hope for the best. Just kidding. Let's go to the thermos that make sure she's good to go. All right, continue set up in the Google Home app. <sighs> All right, so we use the Google Home app to connect to the fourth generation Nest learning thermostat. Overkill for this installation, but nonetheless, still gives them Wi-Fi connectivity anywhere in the world. So right now it's trying to connect with Wi-Fi. Checking for updates, of course, it's always got to make sure it has the latest firmware update and it's downloading. All right, could be, uh, could be much slower. The 
G. They're trying to take over our lives. <laughs> they already did. Let's see what's doing now. I just want to make sure the boiler can turn on and off. Okay. All right, now go to the app and let's turn on heat. Oh, just go out. Yeah, no, whatever. If you want to do it now, it's fine. No, I don't want to do it now. We'll see how good your Wi-Fi is down here because I only see two bars. Uh, and hit not now. No thanks. I don't want you to like sign your life away. <laughs> All right, rotate dial. Let's change the temperature. Press next. All right, done. Okay. So now, beautiful. All right, now let's turn off the thermostat. Just go back. Yeah, go back down below 73. Cut. Burner circuit is open. Our vent damper is closing. And now let's fire this bad boy up one more time. Let's raise that up the temperature again. Good. The vent damper is gonna call to open. Once it's open, the end switch will be closed. And as long as the pressure troll and the low water cutoff, the rollout switch and the spill switch are all closed, we'll have ignition. Wait for it. There we go. Easy peasy.